Red Class, welcome back to another maths lesson. Now today we're going to use our knowledge of adding to try and work out and learn all of our number bonds to 10 and our number bonds are two numbers that make one. So we're going to be looking at number bonds to 10 so we need to try and think of numbers, two numbers that add together to make our whole number of 10. So we need two parts to make our whole of 10. Now to do this, I've got some chocolates. Now you could get anything in your house. You might want to do this with me. So if you do, pause the video here, go and get some objects. You'll need 10 and you'll also need two plates or two things to put them on and then come back. Right, we are going to have a look at number bonds to 10. Now I'm just going to get my 10 Smarties to make sure that there are definitely 10. I'm going to pull, um, turn you down to my table so that you can see. So I've got one, oh, let's pull you back a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have got ten Smarties. Now I've got two plates here. I've got a pink plate and a red plate. Now we need to try and work out our number ones to ten and try and find two numbers that make ten when they are added together. Now I said we had ten Smarties here. Now I'm going to put them all on my pink plate. Now, can you tell me how many Smarties are on this plate without counting? If you said 10, you're right, because we had 10 on our table. I've put them all on my pink plate and there are none on the red plate. So that means that all 10 of my Smarties must be on here. Now, that means that 10 add zero because there's nothing on this plate equals 10 because there are 10 Smarties here and none on here and if we don't add anything to 10 it just leaves us with 10. So these two numbers make our whole number 10. So 10 add zero equals 10. Now if I move a smarty onto my red plate. What happens? Now, can you tell me without counting how many are on my red plate? Just one. Now there were 10 on this plate, but I've taken one away and put it on this plate. If we had 10 and we've taken one away, how many must be on this plate? Nine, because we had 10, we've moved one to the red plate, which leaves us with nine. So we've got nine on this plate. So that means that nine add how many? One equals, hmm, I think I know how many that equals because I know how many I had to start with. How many Smarties did we have all together? If you said 10, you're right. We had 10, which means that 9 add 1 equals 10 because there are 10 all together. So that's another one of our number bonds. 9 add 1 are the two parts that make number 10. Now, we're going to do one more. I'm going to move another smarty to this red plate. Hmm. What's happened? Well, if you have a look, I've added some to the red plate. Now, without counting, how many are there? There are two. There are two Smarties. Now, there were nine Smarties on here, but I've taken away another one. So how many have we got now? Eight. Now remember, 
We started with 10, then we took one away, but now we've had two taken away, which leaves us with eight. Shall we count them and just check? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're right. So that means that eight add, how many were here? Two. Eight add two equals all, without needing to count. How many must there be? If you said 10, you're right, because we had 10 all together to start with, and we've just moved some from this plate to this plate. But if we add them all together again, we have still got 10 all together. So this is another one of our number bonds. 8 add 2 equals 10. So 8 and 2 are the two parts that make number 10. Let's just have a look at what we've written so far. 10 add 0 equals 10. 9 add 1 equals 10. 8 add 2 equals 10. Now then, I'm going to lift you back up because I'm going to tell you what your job is. Now then, there are lots more number bonds than this. And I want to see if you can find any more number bonds to 10 all by yourselves. Now remember, a number bond is two parts that make a whole. So you need two numbers that add together to make number 10. And you can write them all down on a piece of paper, on a whiteboard. I'll also leave some worksheets on your um, team's account in case your grown-ups want to print any of them off. Now, good luck. This is going to be a bit of a challenge, but I know you can do it. Good luck, boys and girls. I can't wait to see some pictures.